not enough people are saying this and, and I you know just to be honest with you I really don't I really don't understand why Grimace is purple guy to be more clear Grimace is William Afton this is this is just true welcome back to yet another YouTube video so just a few days ago the Five Nights at Freddy's movie official trailer just dropped what also dropped recently was the Grimace birthday marketing pitch scheme, whatever you want to call it, and more importantly than that, the Grimace shake. Good old McDonald's is out here celebrating Purple Guy, I mean Grimace's birthday with 16 ounces of his bodily fluid. So yeah. Gross, guys. Gross. But I think it's really interesting because right now there's a trend going around that I'm sure you've seen where, um, you know, people will try the Grimace shake and then they'll start, like, convulsing. Or they'll be possessed or, or something among those likes. Um, hello? Horror concepts, duh. You know, Mickey D's probably started the whole thing anyways in some big, long, hard to understand concept that is the general idea of FNAF x mcdonald's baby the collab in which mr scott cawthon himself will reveal that grimace and purple guy are actually the same thing i'm so excited for my <laughs> freddy fazbear mcdonald's meal forget the travi patty i'm here for the for the freddy's meat hey yo uh i mean I mean, uh, Chica's cake. Uh, you need a queen! <laughs> but yeah, dude, the FNAF movie is going to go so hard. I love how it, you know, um, I just love the premise of a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I think, I think it looks mostly okay so far I, I mean there's a few things i can maybe point out but i, I think it, it's <laughs> regardless i'm going to enjoy the movie i think for the most part it looks pretty true to the actual story and of course that largely has to do with the fact that you know scott himself uh is a major part of, of the writing and directing of the movie and you know i'll be honest i'm not like some fnaf fan I, you know i don't know everything I just know that Mr. William Nafton, he got a little scared. Some little kids were chasing him around. There was a little little old spring trap suit in there. He he hopped right on in, and then then the spring locks engaged, and he just you know and his started bleeding everywhere. And he's like, Ugh. but then the stuff in the suit called remnant, the remnant made him survive, and so William Afton, you know became spring trap and i don't know what the suit was like an old original bunny suit not technically bonnie i don't know yeah so i'm not really a fan no but seriously speaking if you just binge some matt pat videos uh which i find pretty easy to do i don't really watch them all that much but um it, it's it's pretty easy to uh you know become the man in terms of fnaf lore but yeah I, i'm looking forward to the movie quite quite a bit um it's cool that, you know, there's a good chance a couple more YouTubers will pop up than we've already seen. I know one of my favorite YouTubers when I was young was uh, 8-Bit Ryan. He's, like, in a picture in the background or something. And then, of course, at the very end, they include Corey Kenshin in the actual trailer, uh, which I thought was really cool. I've been watching Corey Kenshin for, like, years now, and now I, I watch him with my girlfriend. Um, but I think, I think he killed it in, like, the five seconds we saw of him. But weirdly in that scene, I felt like that was maybe the worst looking scene when his character turns around and it's like the little girl um and I, what i believe probably golden freddy there in the back with him and I, I feel like you don't even have to look too closely to be like oh that that does look a little bit weird 
like there's not anything in there. It's just like a plastered PNG is almost what it looks like to me, or just like a 3D image. It, it doesn't look like super well integrated in my opinion. So I think there's a couple of other things like, I think there's a scene where Chica and Bonnie like look up to the cameras together and it it does look really fan filmy, if, if that makes sense, I guess. Usually when you see like a fan film for stuff, I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that makes it look just not as, as good at, something about it looks worse. I guess for me, the, the main thing is, I'm wondering if it will even be scary because Five Nights at Freddy's, when you think about it, the lore is very interesting in my opinion, but it's not really that scary of a game. The scary part is, is the sounds and you know, the jump scares. It's all very, I, th I think I saw someone say this, this scariness is really all based on the player and how you go about the game. It's kind of up to you. You know, the anxiety is really created by managing your power and like who's where. And so it's interesting to me. I'm curious as to how, how it'll work. Um, but I'm pretty excited regardless. Um, I, I watched a movie a while back with one of my old friends um, called Willy's Wonderland and it's with Nick Cage and the thing was is that technically it's it's really pretty a pretty awful movie his character doesn't say a single line uh, the entire movie and the FNAF movie will be quite different than that but that movie is so bad I, I still loved it so much and this genre of like animatronic stuff is just hilarious to me so I'm really excited for this movie I'm I'm hoping it'll be funny but if it's actually scary I'll be happy with it too I'm not sure which one I want more of it, but for me it's like either way I'm going to like this movie and I don't think I I could say that about a single movie I've ever seen and I'm a huge Star Wars fan and going into the movies the new ones you know they're, they're not my thing so they fly now I'm pretty excited I think yeah, regardless, this movie is going to be good. It's going to be funny. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm really hoping that we see more YouTubers. I'd love to see Markiplier at some point uh, a bit more and some of the other horde YouTubers that I guess I grew up with. I, I was never super into that genre, but it would just be cool to see more um, YouTubers and whatnot. And most importantly, this movie better produce some of the best, some of the best memes uh, because <laughs> there has to be so much so much room for that there so i'm really looking forward to that i think there's there has to be so much content there but yeah i think i think it's going to be a good movie i'm definitely going to have to do a a review of the movie once uh it's it's out and i've watched it uh i might even have to see it a couple of times just to get my full general thoughts on it but yeah it's it's awesome i i've never felt this way about a movie before where i'm like yeah no matter what i'm going to like this movie it's, it's just gonna be good either way, because <laughs> it's either gonna be so bad it's good, or so good it's good, or so mediocre that it's it's good. It doesn't really matter to me. It's what a funny concept that this stupid horror game that I grew up on YouTube watching, you know, that was my era, was the Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, games release, and that's when I was a kid growing up on YouTube. How weird that that ends up turning into a full movie. It's a, <laughs> a weird thing, but yeah, that's, Really all I got, um, you know, I really hope Grimace makes an appearance in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. That's that's what I'm really going there for. I'm going to go to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie with my Grimace shake that won't be out anymore because that campaign will be done with. But yeah, it's going to be a good movie. I guarantee it. I'm excited to, uh, you know, review it for you guys. It's what a what a weird thing. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I'm, I'm excited for the horror, 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 horror. That's really all I'm here for. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching yet another YouTube video. I'll see you guys all next one. Um, goodbye. Ugh, you're gonna make me get up for this. Goodbye. <laughs>